So welcome to fall, ladies, and uh, let's do a toast now. Mm. Toast. toast. Toast to the fall. Toast to the fall season. Fall fashion. Fun. Fall fashion. Fall fashion. Fall everything. Fall everything. Other than the fact that it's raining. Oh, right. We're good. Don't be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> I am not going to be a Debbie Downer <laughs> at all. Think positive. At all. Think yeah, positive. it's beautiful. Yes, it's not going to snow in uh, October. No. It's going to be sunshine. Mm. It always no. snows in October. I know. It does. Is the mark. Calgary just got 10 centimeters. Just oh, yeah. I saw that on the news. That's crazy how yeah. it would look like. Yeah, actually 10 inches. It always, um, it always, I know we're just jumping into all random stuff, but it, it always snows on my birthday. Aww. And I'm hitting my 42nd on the 23rd. Oh. So guys, if it snows, we're think, of make, think of you. Think of you. Think of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you know what? So good to see you, Francine. Yeah. Likewise, oh, thank welcome. you. Nice to see everybody. Yeah. Thank you so right. much for having me again. Okay, so I'm going to know. I want to know all about mm, Paris. Yes. You have been to Paris, the city of love and romance, right? And, and fashion, yeah. Yeah. and fashion, especially fall fashion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just got back um, early this week. And uh, jet lag for a few days, but that just it. goes with ah, the package. Fun. Um, and it also gave me time to absorb everything that I'd seen. So um, Paris, I I left on the day that Fashion Week started, which was kind of, you know, sad in a sense. But I was observing all the sites and everything where they hold the shows anyway. So I kind of felt like I was a voyeur looking in, mm -hmm. and so I was still able to absorb as much as I could. I so. Um, there's a lot of different grounds. There's a lot of um, hype for Paris Fashion Week. It's invitation only. Mm -hmm. They're still featuring like the most prominent designers in the world there, which ah. is why it's such a big to do. Um, one day I will be there. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh yeah. I just got an invitation in the front row. I just got an invitation for the Winnipeg designers show front row. So you know, this is how it starts, slowly but surely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like uh, she's someone to look out for. Hey. For the Winnipeg fashion scene, yes. and I think that. You know, you're you're you got your fingers on the pulse, yes. and I think that that's 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 super important for people who are, you know, peripherally kind of thank like you. engaging in fashion. Aww, so thank you, girl, you like right on. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. They'll be like, bring your posse yeah. and come on. Here's some five five tickets front row. Right. Whatever. I get boring yeah. invites. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, the Supreme Court of Canada was. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Kidding, kidding. Front row. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to go. Oh, gosh. You have to go. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That's what I said. No one was inviting me to that. I used yeah, to good. buy tickets good, for good. that. But, but I'm just saying. My yeah. stuff's boring. Your so, stuff is fascinating. Let's talk about. Yes. Favorite designers. Yes. Ooh. Favorite designers. So highlights of for sure of the trip for me was Alexander McQueen. So mm -hmm. he's a really spectacular designer. Uh, went kind of off the wall. Yeah. Uh, you know. Sadly, ended up uh, with hardship. You know, his he lost his best friend, who kind of introduced him to the industry. He lost his mom, and mm -hmm. and the day before the mom's funeral, he uh, lost himself. So, wow. unfortunately, oh. he went, and then just kind of. And didn't his fashion start to get very dark? It and did. Weird? Yeah. Like, so he went. Uh, well, he's always had hit and misses every show. So mm -hmm. he's had, you know, for example, outfits that had horns on the head, very demonic, but then he would come out with something very floral and sophisticated. Yeah. And so that was, that was the craze. And you know, he, the, this, the tagline about him was that he pissed off a lot of people. Yeah. And this was even something, Jeannie Becker has actually interviewed him well in, wow. uh, in his debut. Yeah. And that was what she had mentioned is that, you know, you're upsetting a lot of people, mm -hmm. but it was all the craze, right? The media loved it. Uh, the spectators loved it because uh, they never knew what they were going to get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but towards right. the end of his career, yeah, he got really dark. Uh, he got liposuction. He, his image changed. His visions changed. I think he maybe kind of dabbled in kind of things that he shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. um, and so he kind of got a little egotistical. Okay. And then he just kind of lost it. And so uh, I, I remember him saying on a documentary that, at this final show, guys, I want to be locked in this box, and at the end of it, I'll just take my own life. And I was wow. like, you know what? Oh. You're cut off. Yeah, you're done. You're cut off. It's it's time yeah. for you to take a break. And yeah. so, anyways, uh, that no, was yeah. that was Alexander McQueen. He was just <laughs> fireworks the whole so, time. So, so just to, sorry, and I don't. Yep. Like I just so how, like how did he pass away? He hung himself. Okay, so mm -hmm. he wow. did end up. So you know, and I guess yeah. that that's a that's a I don't I know it's a really suicide. It's a, it's a sad conversation, yeah. and it kind of matches the mood outside because it's raining and miserable. <laughs> But, um, but we're in Fox Ridge okay. Homes. But we're in Fox Ridge Homes. <laughs> Fluffy and warm. Okay. So beautiful. But I'm just like, just, just, um, you know, like, he obviously took his own life. Um, do you think that people had, like, those red flags of being like, hey, like, maybe someone needs to jump in here and, oh, yeah. and, and maybe oh, yeah. pull him out or help him? Or? I think so. 
Uh, I think that, you know, anytime that anyone has any kind of, you know, monsters going up in their upper mm -hmm. level that, you know, people should kind of take that seriously yes, and, absolutely. you know, not to even derive from the subject, but yeah, yeah it's mental health and it's, uh, yes. let's speak, let's speak about what we're yes. going through. And he said, I'm not well guys. And, but that was back then, you know, it yeah. was 2011 when he passed away and, um, wow. you know, uh, he'll forever be remembered as an icon. Yeah. And, you know, I truly believe that fashion is an art, you know, there's always an ongoing debate because some people don't think it is, mm -hmm. but for me, he was a true representation of art becoming fashion and then you know you don't always have to nail it every single time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it, it's anything. when you you know and in yeah. fact it's better if you have like one-offs that you just can come back up and deliver something ma magical so that was for me the highlight for sure oh, so I just know. and i and i know it's always me i'm always gonna jump in there yeah, yeah flip the sure. conversation <laughs> totally off yeah. topic um but you know you kind of said something and it kind of flipped me right away um you know, I write, like, you know, I have my little journals and I have my little stuff that I write nice. about my own experiences and right. stuff like that. And um, there's so many moments and I, I review them at times. And there's a lot of moments where I've kind of maybe not said it directly, mm -hmm. but I've written about um, not hitting it, like not hitting the, the point or the right. target and, and okay. it not being the worst thing in the world. And right. um, and I think that maybe that's that's... Like, what that. do you guys think, I guess? Like, do you think that failure is, or what's perceived as failure is? I think it's it like, does, or, or does the word failure exist to I you? I think this is an interesting Mistakes. conversation, mm -hmm. right? Because at the end of the day, anybody who wants to be successful, all four of us sitting mm -hmm. here, um, one, success is determined so differently by each one of us, exactly. right? The other thing is how you cope with a failure, quote right. unquote, what is a failure would yeah. be determined um, differently by each one of us and everybody out there that's watching us mm -hmm. as well. Um, I was and speaking listening. and listening, and, listening. Yes. and you know, We're a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> any of our followers, yeah. and, exactly. and I think We're that, used to it. Yeah. you know, um, what, what the thing is, right, is that I believe that we're in a day and time where people are almost too sensitive, right? And I'm, I'm just going to be bold enough mm -hmm. to say it. I think that, you know what? when our ancestors, when our family would hit a roadblock, it was, what do you have inside of you? What's that gusto? What's that drive? Mm -hmm. What are the resources? What can you pull out? Because survival was success. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that we're in a day and age mm -hmm. now where it's almost like we're so soft. Mm -hmm. And if you take offense, check yourself. Yeah. Because we're almost too soft I agree. to the point where we allow failures to come in and kind of demolish everything oh it knocks you out for no, some people, and, and for not, some people. Oh, yeah. like not and for me should. and i guess right. my point my, my point yeah. of that conversation right. was um and just going back to what yeah. you're saying i never took it that ever way. Yeah. as right. a quote-unquote a failure right but it's but a that's moment also, it's just a moment in time and exactly but then going back to what you just said is that our ancestors which would i mean let's just go back to our parents yeah. generation yeah. for yeah. most of us were either first generation or second generation. Yeah. Um, that's a really important point that there was no such thing as failure for no. them because they're just trying to survive. Right. Right. Yeah. So no. anyways, it's just an interesting conversation. No, I, I, yeah. and I think it's, it's one to be, you know, we're, we're also touching on a subject that's very delicate, which mm -hmm. is mental health. Right. Yes. And to not be confused with that, you know, if you're not coping, right. If there's things that are going wrong and you're having a chemical imbalance and things are not working and mm -hmm. you are finding your own ways to express that and people yeah. are not listening, one, that is partially on you. There are resources, but also partially on the people around you. Mm -hmm. We're so egotistical yeah. nowadays for sure. that we aren't even willing to really see somebody for who they are and um, and what they're going through. So I think there's just so many, you know, layers so many to layers. what you're saying. But I think at the end of the day, what we need to do is just spend some more time like being yeah. human beings, yeah. mm -hmm. understanding that every single challenge I've ever had or struggle I've ever had has made me so much stronger to go yeah, into battle agree, again totally. yeah. and has made me a better better business owner, a better human being, a better daughter, a mm -hmm. better partner, yeah. a better all of those things. Do you not think though too, it's just, we have stopped listening 
Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. I was, oh for sure. I was <laughs> just going to say the exact same. As I'm thing. listening to no, no, right. No, no, no. I was, like I was literally, right? literally going to say that because yeah. I think that I agreed with one point and then the other point I was like, I'm not sure about that. That's okay. Um, well, this is why we do this. We don't all have to get along. See, right. I'm yeah. not offended and she's not yeah. offended. We're yeah. able to have a discussion. Yeah. Um, I think that sometimes um, when you're in a moment and, you know, this is just my assumption, so yeah. I just want to be clear about this. Like, I, I don't know anyone directly that's dealt with something uh, as mm-hmm. severe uh, as a mental health issue that's led to a suicide, okay. mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Led yeah. to someone, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay. but I also think that, you know, when you're in that funk, mm-hmm. are you able to reach out? To anyone because I would argue that when someone's at the point of suicide mm-hmm. or leaving your family and your friends mm-hmm. because the only way you would get to that point is believing that there is nothing else left for you yeah. mm-hmm. you would really not see any resources mm-hmm. right no. so so I would kind of be like well I, I would honestly say like what you just said is that who are our connections who yeah. are our people are we creating relationships that we're actually looking out for each That's, other yeah. or what's superficial creating the relationships i feel honestly is that he missed his mom and his best friend so much totally. that he felt he had nobody else right and probably as a celebrity and being so like he became a fashion high celebrity profile. yeah he yeah. was a high profile he was a, he used to wear jeans and a t-shirt and just be humble yeah. and then he went into this weird uh, persona and then he only had his two best people and they passed away and so but I think this is he wanted where to go see them that's what I yeah. think but, but I think this is where that's why relationships yeah, are very yeah, important so, but long so before critical. it gets to that point oh, yeah. if you've ever oh for sure guess what we all struggle with mental mm-hmm. health every one of us in mm-hmm. some way diff- or you know shape or form mm-hmm. um, it just manifests differently for each right. person mm-hmm. the, the reality is that long before we get there there are signs. Mm-hmm. And so if you're not listening and you're not paying attention and you're not observant. You're I, I know, Yes. Yes, okay. Right, but of you, right? Yeah. I can remember like where I met Tracy, which will leave nameless. But where <laughs> I, met Tracy, I remember having um, an instance where I walked into this establishment and I did not feel like myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first thing, I was like, this feels re- really weird. I don't know why I feel like I need to leave. I'm mm-hmm. going to leave. I went home and, I mean, it's never been diagnosed, it's never been whatever, but I knew I felt off. Mm -hmm. I called the people that I love and I care and I said, I feel strange. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was like panicking. Like Like, why do I feel this way? And that's where I'm saying that there is a responsibility to yourself. You Mm -hmm. know when you kind of feel in the early on stages. I think the early on, perhaps. Early on. But what you're talking about, I completely agree. Yeah, but I I think that there's also levels, right? Like, I mean, there's people who just... Mm -hmm. That's a big ask. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. That's a really right. big ask. And with today's pressures yeah. and everything, yeah. and you know, where are you tonight? What are you doing tomorrow? Yeah. And everybody yes. texting, you know, 12 text messages left yeah. on your phone yeah. to answer and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. It's hard, it's right? It's hard to share. find your balance yeah. and yeah. Right. to be calm. But I think that, you know, I mean, we're definitely not. Was When was uh, Bell uh, oh, let's Speak talk. Out? Let's, let's Talk. Let's yeah. Talk. Four, we just passed years? it, right? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we just have, they have it annually. Yeah, sorry, is it January? I just missed, yeah. a, yeah. I missed yeah. it on that. But anyway, the point of the story, I guess, is that, you know, and I don't know why, we kind of just jumped into the conversation. Because <laughs> Alexander McQueen was that, a yeah. brilliant person who went yeah, away. Well, yeah. yeah, no, and, that, and that's you a know? loss. That's a loss gone. to the industry. And he was young. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think there's so many just creatives and just people in this world, and we see suicide and mental health and all of these things are so rampant, Mm -hmm. right? And I think Mm -hmm. that we're having discussions about them, but we're not having discussions about them, Mm -hmm. right? And so I love that Hugh can be a platform for that today to even spark a conversation in your living room or in whatever. As I've been podcasting, I'm uh, Annalie Ames, who was another guest Mm -hmm. on our show, and she's a filmmaker. And, you know, as a filmmaker, having that freedom to make a film about right. you know women yes. that are in abusive relationships yeah. people that are cool. suffering from mental illness yeah. Oh, yeah. if it's all if they can only see their story or share those experiences mm-hmm. in another platform yeah. um you know 
hopefully they can start the conversation. But I want to continue this now. Yes. And, uh, Moulin Rouge. Okay. <laughs> I know. We so from the joy to the know. pop. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Moulin Rouge was yeah. certainly, uh, I have to say, we never got into the rides and things like that, but I don't know if we want to talk about uh, that. But it, it was no, a little bit of a dangerous yeah. time to be in Paris. Uh, I don't know if you want me to just backtrack yeah, a little yeah, bit. Back, yeah. Yeah. So right now in Paris, what's happening is Les Gilets Jaunes. And so it's a uh, $280,000, uh, sorry, 280,000 person right. group uh, of middle class uh, people that really are trying to uh, access the, or they want to wealth, they want to have, have a wealth tax. I'm stumbling all over my words. Mm -hmm. Wealth tax for the wealthy. And so they're upset because whether they're making 30,000 or 80,000, they're taxed at the same bracket. Oh, wow. well, that's not how it works for us. No. So they're mad. Oh, wow. And the president is like this wealthy man in his little chateau and, and there's like armed guards all over the place. So when we were there, there was 70,000 additional police officers brought in full on combat gear. So we're talking machine guns, gas masks, shields, wow. combat gear. I just kept thinking, I really need to get home to my son, Nico, right? So yeah. that's what I'm thinking this entire time. So everywhere that we went, anywhere that had luxury or like Chanel shops mm. or Alexander McQueen was, was behind bars. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get to it because they were targeting uh, luxurious theaters. Um, where the um, rich would go. Where the rich would go. Rich or or wow. whoever it is that's been saving no up for this. such a long time, such as myself, mm -hmm. to go to these kinds of places, right? Wow. When you go there, you, you're wanting to you know step it up a notch. Well, we had three machine gun armed guys in front of our hotel. And so it's like an easy feeling, but at the mm -hmm. same time, they're trying to comfort us saying that, well, don't worry because there's this many yeah. police. Yeah, you know? you're But at the same time, it's... Yeah. Okay, so anyways, we were right beside Champs-Élysées. So Champs-Élysées is like the luxurious district mm -hmm. of Paris, and that would have been like the cat's meow. In lieu of this, we went to Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge, Moulin Rouge. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Wow. So uh, champagne little table, VIP, fabulous. It took about 45 minutes to get in, which was late for them, but because of all the riots and all the brouhaha, yeah. Yeah. it was, uh, it it was understandable. Yeah. Yeah. So we get wow. in there, and of course there's no photography because wow. these are... Is this like uh, an actual, real. like the cabaret style? They have an actual site wow. set up wow. year round for Moulin Rouge, and it's <laughs> called the Moulin Rouge Cabaret. Uh, and these are internationally uh, tried out spectators, like uh, not spectators rather, but performers. Oh, wow. yeah. So they're not just from Paris or wow. from France, they're yeah. from the world. So it's like a, it's Cirque like de Soleil, uh, it's like whatever. a Cirque du Soleil on steroids. Mm -hmm. It was wow. unbelievable. And the costume design and the detail that, that was put so into crazy. everything. Uh, obviously you have to be 18 and over because you yeah. know, there's a little bit of scantily clad moments, <laughs> but, uh, or most. Uh, <laughs> but it, it was it was such a spectacle, and it really left me with a really good taste in my mouth, especially after seeing all of that. Yes, mm. you know, yeah. craziness yeah. and whatever. Yeah. But to I get immersed and just to oh, what a you show! I highly recommend yourself it. in that. I absolutely did, and yeah. I just kept going. Oh, ah, ooh, and I just felt <laughs> yeah. bad for the people that were around me because I oh shoot, okay, here I go again saying something. But <laughs> oh, and I have to do this too, uh, Francine was well uh, accepted by all of the uh, French Parisians. <laughs> Who are you? Yes, French. because French is quite different than our Canadian Quebecois French. It's very different. Yeah. Uh, we have a Franco-Manitoban dialect, which is basically considered as nothing to yeah. everybody else. Yeah. We have the Montreal-Quebec dialect, and yeah. we have the French Parisian. Yeah. And uh, a girlfriend of mine has been to Paris three weeks ago. She didn't tell me about the yellow jackets, but anyway. Uh, and she said, "You're gonna have to tune up your accent, or or make it yeah, make it an stronger. accent for that people for them to listen to you." Yeah. But I'm better at French, anyways, and no, so I just stuck to my guns, and I just read, you know, do dove back into my uh, verb roots, books and my yeah. uh, syntax and my grammatical stuff, and nice. they were so impressed wow. that that was also a highlight for me because they said, "Oh, it's about the Melville français." Like oh, they were just oh, wow. really impressed by the way that I could speak and that I can converse and yeah. you know translate for the group and it whatever really so it's nice when yes. i went to um thanks Paris. tracy <laughs> i like that yeah. yeah. it was yeah. that it was it was good it was yeah right but it is such a highlight i'll get us into paris fashion week okay <laughs> that you can communicate right like when oh, i went to sure. paris for one of my clients yeah. photo shoots it yeah. was the same thing yeah. like the fact that i could speak with the crew and our photographer and everybody cool. And cool. I mean, I only went up to grade six, but yeah. the fact that you can like yeah. converse, even basic, converse. even yeah. basic, yeah. like they respect it, they love that, Perfect. they appreciate it, yeah. you know, so kudos to you, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, right on. Thanks, girl. Yes, yeah. that. <laughs> that's exciting. So, yeah. okay, so now we're going to come back to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Okay. Yes. Winter hey. Manitoba. What's going um, on? But there's a certain kind of footwear that... Wow. Oh, 
Did you ever have a pair of mucklucks? Did you? Guys, no. Ooh. <gasps> I should have had them. I yeah. actually. I have them right there. Rana, you had to. No, no. I think someone gave me a pair. No, no. <laughs> wow. Someone gave me a pair. And then I got permission from them for me to give it to somebody else because it was too big. I should have oh, hidden yeah. them behind yeah. the couch and just pulled them out because they're right there. Oh, yeah. oh you should have. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. But we do have some pictures. So we you do. were with yeah. your girlfriend, Julie Peterson. Yes. 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 So she's, uh, she's been retired and she announced her uh, reintroduction, but only for a collection. Okay. I don't know how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the good. opportunity and the privilege to go to the pop-up that they were hosting this weekend. Nice. It was over, over at Masters of London in Charleswood. And uh, on the second day when I arrived at around three, she probably had 12 pairs left out of over 30. Oh, wow. Uh, Those are nice. They are insane. Wow. And they're comfortable oh, and they're weather worthy oh, and they're in okay, their I line need to get on. and I they're leather and they're easy to clean. Oh. And she's a queen. <laughs> I just love her. Like, I yeah. have so much respect for her. And yeah. she's um, been a prominent designer in Winnipeg for a very long time. Right on. Um, she, even when she was retiring, I went and had the opportunity to go to her house, get a custom pair made, and she donated a few items for me because she knew that I had this wow. passion for fashion nice. wow. that was brewing, and so yeah. she's just a wonderful person. No, it's like, and have you ever worn them? Sh oh, Shana, they're, we have to get yeah, you a pair. Yeah, you so must. Fast. It's a must. You know what? In this Miami is a must. Yes. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm so spoiled yeah. right now. Britney Spears I has a pair of even. Yeah, the the are the yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely need, because I'm super short. <laughs> I'm cold yeah, like, all the time. I'm brown. I'm Miami. With shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she has the little ones too that go over her high heels and whatnot. She yes, hasn't remade those. Yes. But maybe if she sees this, then she could kind of get back into that one no, too. Oh, yeah. But it's like an anklet and it goes on top of your high heel. Oh, like, very cute. Like killer cool. Like, like, this when I was warmer. clubbing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually cool. Well, remember you got cold heels too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Remember the days you were wearing your little, little short, short dress? Yeah. It's 40 below. Yeah. Those were the days. You got your, absolutely. That was last Yesterday. <laughs> that was last night. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, so she, it's great no, to no. see her come totally back for a collection. True. I go home um, at 9.30. And uh, so that, that was the highlight for sure for the fashion wow. world. And oh, I'm amazing. so excited for you. Yeah. What a crazy experience. Wow. Yeah. And you know what? I can see fashion shows in the future with like the muckies and the mucklucks and all this, you and know, you incorporating. Don't bring shoulder pads back, please. Shoulder pads. I like the, the 90s. one of those things called no. when you have oh, like. No. Oh, but big shoulders are in right now. Oh, just so you know. Oh, yeah. Accentuated shoulders. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have shoulder pads. Like, oh, yeah. I never used to have. But no, I but like the big it. shoulders are yeah, in too right now, right? Oh, Pronounced, okay. yeah. But yeah, so but okay. What's, what's up? Like, I know you're such a huge staple in mm. the city as far as like Winnipeg fashion and everything like that. Like, what are some of the hidden secrets that people are sleeping on right now? Well, I think that we have more in the stores than we realize. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we need, like for me, for example, even for myself, when I go shopping, I get confused. Mm -hmm. I, get, uh, I get confused. I get kind of, um, uh, not intimidated, but it's just there's so many different stuff, so many mm -hmm. different things that you're like, yeah. what should I do? Right. If you could, you know, and this is my vision too for Fashion Winnipeg, is to simplify everything. Yeah. yeah. Come click here. Here's the ni top nine things that you should maybe think of or if you want to be on trend for this fall, mm -hmm. which are these colors, these styles, these looks, done. Yeah. Click. Because if you even Google it yourself yeah. and you're trying it's to... You, to it, it's too much. Oh my gosh. You have this opinion, that opinion, yeah. every, the, the, everyone's opinion and their dogs. And yeah. it's just like it's hard to narrow that down. So I'm, you know, I started this company and I think that, you know, providing a little bit of education and simplifying yeah. things for people and ensuring that everyone looks good yeah. at the end of the day is a good thing. So, yeah. okay, so that's what, where I'm going. So what do we need to have Okay, for this yeah. so right now, mon like uh, color blocking is hot, yeah. meaning like if you, and this is what's really hot right now, half and half. Yeah. There's even a, a fashionista from Copenhagen who had the same shoe, different colors. Right. And mm, okay. I know. How, right? It's yeah. out there. It's mm -hmm. out there. Or, or half dress, half black, half white. Yeah. Weird, but that's what I fashion is. But I remember. It's a different way of color blocking because yes. color blocking's always been a thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. But it's a different form of it's color blocking. Color blocking blocker reminds me of like the 1990s. Is this I the know. 90s return? Well, well, you know what? <laughs> right? I remember. Like, is this like those like leather the jackets that well, were coming? Yeah, yeah, white leather is hot. Jackets that were, oh, yeah. White yeah, leather is hot. White, white leather is hot. Burgundy, you know, bicycle red, like lots of chili color reds. And this color here, which is, you know, yeah, mustard or dark cheddar. Um, but these are all 
and lace and puffs and everything too is hot too. So okay. I mean, it all depends. I mean, fashion is in the eye really of the beholder too, right? It's yeah. it's. It, I think that there's you know as an image consultant. Yes. Also yes. In this world. Yes, girl. Yes. I think too. You know, one of one of the great things is like yes, Pinterest is always a resource. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, like if you go into the stores, you can see what trends are alive. Yes. I don't really operate through trends. I operate through who am I and right. what is speaking to Especially the woman that I am right now. Too. Absolutely. The Which other is eighty percent of the world. In right? Winnipeg, we have a lot of bomb stylists. Yes. Like bomb bomb stylist Legit. that yeah. you could hire to yeah. help you curate mm -hmm. that image. And Which that I even did before in Paris, for. by the way. Oh, nice. wow. oh yeah, for sure. Professionals yeah. seek professionals, right? Like, yeah. So I had zero, you know. And that's just the way to go. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like your, your image about is it. so important, yeah. especially when you're in the fashion world. So Absolutely. I think that, you know. It's good um, to have yeah. another opinion. Absolutely. And yeah. just also to take you outside of your comfort, comfort zone. zone. What yeah. I did for my 30th, 31st, oh goodness. <laughs> 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 you know, 30 times two. Um, so what I did for my 31st is I hired one of my good guy friends who's cool. a stylist here in the city. Ooh. And he styled me for this rooftop party that cool. we were doing. And he took me so far outside of my comfort zone. Like, it was still black Whoa. and white. Yeah. But it was like checker on checker and yeah. like, you know, snap pants. And yes. I was like, what is happening? What Girl, is happening? when I tell you, like, I felt like a boss after that. Cool. I was like, oh. nice. Get and then the there's girl. like conservative black and white, like oh, you yeah. see today yeah. from. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna wrap things up because I want to actually no. I want to have space. <laughs> Sorry. To, oh, no, I know. I want to have space crazy for your new niece. Ooh. Oh do yes. I, do I get to introduce? Yes. The absolute love of, of my your life. life. Yeah. My heart and my soul. I could tell. Yes. Is there like okay so. Ah, there she is. <laughs> so she was born September 11th, yes. premature, a month premature, Aww. and that's her little grin. And she's, she's a, a lot she's of hair. A, she, yeah, oh. she's got yeah. curly like she, mom, she, she, or like auntie. Yeah, she, she, she's hands down in Bukhari. Her Aww. anger and her like tall, like she's just perfect. <laughs> so her, she was born six pounds three ounces, premature. That's premature. Wow. Premature, yeah. uh, about a month preemie, and um, yeah, it's like kind of how she came out was crazy, but. Yeah. Her name is uh, Zyra Aliyah oh, Bokhari. I love wow. it. Yeah, she's and awesome. honestly, you guys, she's legitimately the love of my life. Like Aww. I, I'm doing nights. Like I was just You're with them such last a good night. Oh, uh, you. you know, like I just don't care. Like I will not. Look well, at her little face, my baby. Oh, baby. So I excited. love you. I just oh, love her so love much. She's so so gorgeous. And you know what? It's all kind of you know come full circle, right? Come yeah. full circle. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it's just like I don't. I, for people who've kind of um, heard our previous podcast and our previous <laughs> episodes, you'll have, you know, we've talked about bonus parents and yeah. aunties and all that mm. stuff like that. So that's kind of like my new, you know, you guys are going to hear about it all the time. And yeah. uh, well, yesterday course. I was over there overnight and she was so angry because I think she's like kind of growing. So she needs a little bit more milk. Right. So she'll just like flip her hands back like strong, eh? Yeah. And she'll just be like, ah! But yeah. it's, it's just perfect, I just adore Can't it. I love it. You're officially Aww. an anti mommy I know, and it's my first one. Can't wait to get into fashion. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look, you little guys, suits. I'm a Little suits? Little oh. suits? Oh, baby mock clocks. Ooh. Oh, yes. She definitely will need those. Because how do parents oh. do, okay, we're not going into this, no. but how do parents do babies in winter? This is ridiculous. I, 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 so I, know, know, I, have, a, I have a brand that I use yeah. for Nico. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. They can go Stone in the baby bundle uh, for a while they're little infants. For a little while. But yeah. then they grow yeah. and you got to It's got a tie on it. Yeah. And it's you guys, crazy. I feel like we could talk about this I know. forever. It's but I feel like you've already... No sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that we should just do a shout out to Fox Ridge again. Yes. 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 Come in, check out the show homes. We'll do the dishes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she'll do the dishes. No, I did no, not no, agree no, to this. Okay, Nico will. No, it's a show home. It's a Just show kidding. Home. I'm kidding. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey, okay. Fox Ridge, no one's going to be sleeping upstairs in the bedroom. No. Golden locks might be. Cheers. 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 Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, that's awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Francine. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you, everyone.